Hi everyone, this is Anne. I realize that I have not done an updated nighttime skincare routine video in almost two years, and a lot has changed in my routine since then. So I thought I would just do an updated video and share with you some of the products that I've been using at nighttime. And later this year, in the fall, I'll be turning 50, and so I'm really making an effort to build collagen in my skin because wrinkles are my biggest problem. I I tend to get wrinkles on my neck, around my mouth, and underneath my eyes, and on my forehead, but my hair kind of covers the forehead ones, so I'm not as worried about those, but I would like to build collagen in my skin, and so I've incorporated a few new products into my skincare routine, and all of these are really good for building collagen. I'm not a medical professional at all. I'm just sharing with you what I've been using and what seems to be working for me in hopes that you might find it interesting or it might help you as well. And I will put links to all of the products that I show in the description box beneath this video. So in case you want to read more about a product, be sure and check that. Also, if I get a discount link or code from any of the companies, I will put that in the description box beneath this video as well. So I start out my nighttime routine by removing all of my makeup. And because I have normal to drier skin, I like to use the cleansing oil. And my favorite one is a drugstore one. It's by Palmer's. And this is their skin therapy cleansing oil. It has rosehip oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, and vitamin C in it. I really love this. It's my favorite cleansing oil that I've ever tried. And I just take a few pumps, put it in the palm of my hand, and gently massage it all over my face, my neck, and even across my eyes to remove my eye makeup. And then I put a little bit on a couple of cotton rounds and remove my eye makeup. After I've massaged it all in and loosened up all the makeup, I just take a very inexpensive washcloth, cotton washcloth, and get it wet with warm water and just wipe all that makeup off. So after I've cleansed my skin and removed my makeup, the first thing I like to do is run a derma roller over my most wrinkled areas, which is a lot of my face, around my mouth, around my eyes, and a little on my forehead. I typically use just a very small 0.25 millimeter derma roller. This one can be used nightly if you want to. I typically use it about three to four nights a week and it helps with product absorption. About once every two to four weeks, I'll go in with a slightly longer 0.50 millimeter derma roller. And this one does have long enough needle size to actually help with new collagen production. You always want to sanitize your derma rollers when you're done using them, and you do that with rubbing alcohol. And I also like to run my derma rollers across my lips to help build collagen and make my lips a little bit fuller and plumper. So the first product that I apply after derma rolling is a growth factor. And growth factors are new to my skincare routine this year. They're great for cell renewal and they're great for building collagen and elastin. They also help to inhibit the breakdown of hyaluronic acid within your skin. And they work really well with other skincare ingredients, so they're very easy to incorporate into your current skincare routine. And the very first products that I apply are by Rejuve MD, and I have their eye serum and their face serum. These are bioidentical growth factors. And I just like to apply one pump of the eye serum completely around my eye area, keeping it up all the way around my orbital bone. And then I apply one pump of the face serum to my neck and one pump to my face. This product absorbs very quickly, it is non-greasy, and it does not have a scent that I have noticed. Next, I mix up in my hand a little bit of my Rufisa, and this is a very emollient Retin-A, along with my Benigma, which is a bee venom moisturizing cream, and this also helps with the production of collagen. 
It also enables me to be able to use Retin-A on a nightly basis without skin irritation. I typically would get red, irritated skin until I started using these two together, and that has completely taken away any irritation that I get from my Retin-A. Also, what I like to mix in with these two products is a fade cream. And typically, I use a 2% hydroquinone just from the drugstore, and I will list that product beneath this video as well in case you're interested in that. But you're only supposed to use hydroquinone for four months, and then you need to take a month off and use just a natural fade cream or no fade cream at all. And I like to use a natural one on my month off, and I recently purchased one by Obagi, and this one is a non-hydroquinone fade cream. I like it pretty well. I've also tried some other natural ones, and I'll list those below. But I just add a little bit of this just to help brighten and even my skin tone. Over my Retin-A mix, I like to apply a restorative night cream. And this is by the company Vertera. This has platelet-derived growth factors in it. It also has peptides and retinol. You can use this product on its own, or you can put it on over your Retin-A, which is how I like to use it. And this product has a nice lemon scent to it. It is a light cream gel. It just takes a little bit of product and it spreads very easily. So I just apply a tiny bit all over my face and neck and just massage that in. And a kind of cool thing about this product is the owner, who is a woman, designed it so that your hair will not stick to your face as you sleep. So it's a great product to put on as your last product at nighttime. On my lips, I do apply my Growth Factor serums to my lips, and then I like to apply Lansino Lanolin ointment over my lips as the very last thing on my lips. This helps to moisturize my lips. I haven't had chap lips since I started using it, and I just apply a little bit to my lips at nighttime. And then on occasion, I will apply my Nivea Skin Firming and Smoothing Concentrate Serum. And I recently did a couple videos on this product, which I'll link below in case you haven't seen them. This product has completely gotten rid of my under eye bags. I also use it on my underneath my chin and along my jawline on occasion. And I do not use this regularly as a part of my skincare routine. When I used it under my eyes, on my eye bags, that was four years ago, and I used it for about two months or so until they were gone. And then I just quit using it, and I have not had to use it in that area since. I used it at the same time underneath my chin, and I recently, just this last month, used a little bit more for maybe a week or two under my chin, just to help tighten that up a bit. And when I'm happy with the way it looks, then I just quit using this. And I do only use this as my last product because I don't want it to smear in areas that I want to keep the fat, like my cheeks. I know that some of these products are pricey. I would much rather put my money into some really great skincare that has great ingredients that are going to help me build collagen in my skin and improve my skin than spend it on, say, a lot of higher-end makeup. Because to me, it's more important to get my skin in really good shape. And I'm trying to repair some of the damage that I've done over my lifetime because I do have sun damage and I am older. So I really want to build that collagen and use some of the best ingredients that I can in order to do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've used any of these products, I would love to hear from you. So please comment below. Thank you so much for watching.